Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. Thank you so much for showing love to my previous uh, deployment tutorial of uh, deploying an Angular application to Warsaw. Today, following it up, I'm going to show you how to deploy a React application to the Warsaw platform. This is a step-by-step -step guide and it will help you to deploy all your projects from localhost to live site into Warsaw. Let's get started. Before we kickstart, for our friends who are joining us new, let me quickly show you what Warsaw is. You can build and deploy your projects easily for free using Warsaw. Warsaw is the company that built Next.js and also allows developers to have a hobby plan, which means you can deploy, maintain your repo, your code in seconds. You can deploy them really quick. It's an automatic, uh, it has automatic CI CD, it is fluid compute, and you have all the deployments, you have the performance insights, and much, much more. It's for free forever plan, which means just go ahead, sign up. You can sign up with your GitHub, you can sign up with your email, and other options. So make sure that you get your free account. That being said, let's kickstart this tutorial. Before we start, um, thank you so much for showing so much love. Uh, to my uh, interview question answer series that I've launched full stack. It will help you prepare, learn all these technologies with over 2000 interview question answer series with detailed code snippets. It's a once a lifetime buy. Make sure that you get your copy at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any questions, write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. All right, so let's get started with the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to deploy a React application to Warsaw. First things first, I'll create a folder. Let's get started. So I'm covering it under deploy. This will be the series where I'll be showing you different deployments to different uh, platforms. So I'm creating a new application inside uh, the deploy, not in the Angular application, but inside the deploy. And I'm going to call it React App. That would be my app. So I have earlier shown you how to deploy the Angular application also. So make sure you check that tutorial also. All right. So in this folder, the first thing we'll do is create a simple React App. And I'm going to use Create React App application and give it a name. Let's call it Expense or Payments or whatever project name you want to give. It will take a couple of seconds uh, to build the application, so hang tight. And in the meanwhile, if you do, please do continue to support me and my channel. Please do hit that like button and subscribe button to get notifications. So it will take a couple of seconds more. Let's give it that time. If you have any feedback, please do write to me in the comments. I love reading your encouraging comments. Um, that's just, that's I think that's what every uh, creator wants to read so thank you all right um, it is saying testing library has failed um, could not resolve but I think for most part whatever we want has is here um, the uh, the application as such and let's do a npm start it will not have it because we need to navigate into expense and then do npm start so all right, so our application has started on 3000 port. So it says web vitals could not be found. Let's go ahead and install it. npm install web vitals. All right, done. Now let's run again npm start. So now we see the application has loaded for check purpose. I'm going to delete and just have simple things so that we know the point is to learn right so I'm going to say learn to deploy react app to Warsaw. save it and you see this message this is our application all right so let's say you have your react application ready now the thing you will do is npm run build this is the script which will build and give you the build folder which will have the actual source code that is generated for deployment 
the next thing we want to deploy to Warcell. So you are going to say npm install hyphen g Warcell. All right. Now that you have installed it, the next thing you will do is Warcell login. It will give you options which option you want to proceed with. I have uh, set up my account using the GitHub. So I'm going to choose the first one and it's going to say Versal CLI login success. That means now it is all set up. You should see this message once you log in. Then next what we'll do, we'll just type Versal. It will say you want to deploy this application. Yes. And which um, should it contain your with scope? Just hit Surya's projects in my case. Link to existing project? No, it's not linking. I'm going to say expense react app which directory at the root level so I'll just hit the enter uh, review it's going to run react scripts build do this install and put it output directories build so continue yes and build the command again this is to deploy your application in seconds and it will push your code to Warsaw app and I'll show you the dashboard how it looks so once you have logged in into Warsaw you'll see your application like this and you can see that expense react app is deployed just now okay so this is still deploying actually so let's give a couple of more seconds so you can see here it's spinning that means it's uh, still deploying and it's deployed okay so this is the message you should see once it's deployed click on that and you will see a link to your app where it is hosted so you can see your application is now deployed to Versal, and this is the URL of the deployed application you can go into the project here and click if you have done multiple deployments you can check them here under deployments that will give you all the things that were deployed that's pretty much all it takes to deploy a react application to Warsaw. go ahead deploy all your local applications local code into Warsaw and host it for free forever and you will have a something to showcase to say future employers or for your own personal projects just go ahead and deploy them let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I hope you are enjoying this deployment series. Please do keep those comments and positive feedback coming in. Thank you once again. We'll see you in the next episode. We will learn how to deploy an ExpressJS application. Thank you so much.